today is Monday, September 6th, 2021, and um, it is Labor Day weekend. Um, <clears throat> plus, yeah, I have two more days off before I start back to work. So I am off um, to do some Crown Land camping. So I had just um, gotten into Crown Land camping when uh, the, the Crown Land camping ban came into effect. Um, so, and then I was away for the summer. So now I'm back and the ban is lifted and I am very eager to do some more Crown Land camping. So um, I'm going to a different location than my first Crown Land camping video, um, undisclosed location. And yeah, um, on the way, we are going to visit Petroglyphs Provincial Park. And that's about it. So let's get going. All right, we are here at the Petroglyphs Provincial Park. It's 18 degrees, lots of people. I'm excited though to see these uh, petroglyphs, learn something. So I will not be able to share this experience with you guys, but I will tell you all about it. All right, so the petroglyphs were very interesting. Um, also, like, yeah, researchers or whatever in the 50s colored in the petroglyphs with black wax crayon to make them more visible. They did that to about 250 of the 1,200 that are, that are here. No, not that are here in Ontario. Um, I'm gonna buy the book actually. But uh, anyway, so that was interesting. I'm gonna buy the book and learn more. Uh, there are two walking trails here, the Nanabush Trail, which is 5.5 kilometers and the Marsh Trail, which is seven. Um, so the Marsh Trail, the seven kilometer one is marked by the blue blazes. That's what we're gonna do. And yeah. Well, I guess I just want to say, you know how sometimes you get like, you learn something or you get a certain like phone call or message and it kind of just kind of changes your mood. I've had that experience today. So I apologize in advance if I'm not my normal, like <laughs> ditzy perky self. Anyway, a good walk will help. Let's do it. All right, it is now 20 after three. That was a nice seven kilometer walk in the provincial park. Um, now let's go Crownland camping. So I borrowed this canoe from my cousin and I have arrived to my destination. Time to unpack. So this is the spot. Just looking for somewhere to hang up my hammock tent and then I'll get started on getting firewood. So 
considering that my cousin said that this place was packed um, over the long weekend, um, no garbage. Good job, people. I mean, there is a massive fire pit. Um, but it is a, you know, a massive, like, natural clearing. I don't know. Anyway, um, no garbage. Well, I found one can of Coke and one empty package of cigarettes, but I'm pretty impressed. Um, look what I have, Corrado. My friend Corrado sent me this for the fire. <laughs> that was awkward. So I'm going to burn some of those and have a colorful fire tonight. Thank you, Corrado. And, uh... Yeah, so I guess next task is um, collecting or cutting up firewood. All right, okay. So there's this bench here. So this is where I have all my stuff. I've got my day hiking backpack, a garbage bag, food, and then that's my empty inflatable kayak bag. Like, that's what I keep my inflatable kayak in. Usually I inflate it and then fill it up with the stuff I need. So I didn't have to inflate a kayak this time, but that's all my stuff. Like that had my hammock tent, my sleeping bag, my clothes, my chair, all that stuff. So it's pretty convenient that there's this um, bench here to put it on. What I should have done first is put up a protective tarp, but I don't really know how to do that yet. I'm gonna be taking a tarpology workshop with my appointed mentor who I've never mentioned his name before. But uh, that's my appointed mentor is um, YouTuber Pine Martin. So I call him my appointed mentor because I asked him one question one day, and he answered it, and then I came back with a million more, and he keeps answering them. So he's taught me a lot, and he's going to teach me how to, if it's, uh, different configurations to hang up a tarp. Um, he's a great person to consult if you have any questions like regarding crown land or setting up tarp or fire making, anything. Anything to do with camping, he's so knowledgeable. I'm so lucky that <laughs> he affords me some of his time. Um, so I should have hung up a tarp here. I have a tarp here, so I bought one. It's not calling for rain, I'm gonna risk it. Um, okay, so back to firewood. Well, quite ironically, it's raining. Well, it's like spitting. <clears throat> so, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't stop, because it's still not even showing in the forecast, I'll just throw the tarp over that, that bench, so not an issue. Oh my God, that was hard work. But, yeah, I have like, I'm good for the night. And the next night, if I, if I do uh, stay two nights, which is a possibility. All right, I think it's time for Corrado's uh, gift. It says just toss these pouches into the fire and Corrado said I should use two or three. There we go. It's 9.30. Um, 
I can't show it with this phone, but the stars are out. They're amazing. Um, I'm having a fantastic time. And that's it. Good morning. It is Tuesday, September 7th. It's 8 o'clock. Um, considering that it went down to 8 degrees, I'm amazed at what a warm sleep I had. Uh, yeah, so it's nice and um, misty out there, so I really want to go for a canoe ride. So let's go. First coffee, though. Forgot about coffee. This is all the stuff that was in the tent with me last night, and this is pretty standard, so I thought I would just show it. So top left is an extra battery for my phone with, with the cord. That's important. Um, bottom left is bear spray. Beside the bear spray is a water bottle. Beside the water bottle is a knife, my beloved Smith & Wesson knife. Um, beside the knife is a headlamp, and above the headlamp, um, on that carabiner is the world's loudest whistle, a thermometer and compass thing. And I've got my fire starter thingy, which I still have not learned the name of. It's a ferris rod, I think. Then I've got my spot system. And then finally I have coyote spray, which is just basically handheld bear spray. Anyway, that is standard that comes in the tent with me every night. FYI. So as you can hear, well, I don't know if this, this is picking it up, but I mean, you can hear people talking and coughing. This is Crown Land, but it is closely um, surrounded by private property. So, um, and this particular spot with the clearing and the fire ring um, is quite exposed. It's a, it's a, you know, it's not a massive island by any stretch, but it's a fairly big island. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk through the island, which I've done before, and see if I can pick out a more um, secluded camp spot. Anyway, let's have coffee. This is so amazing. Now that I have a new car, oh yeah, by the way, I have a new car. <clears throat> the smart car died. It did get me home. It did get me home, as I think I've, I've already mentioned. Um, but uh, with four boosts, five boosts technically. <clears throat> so it got me home and then that was it. So that's fine. I'm glad I had the experience. I bought a brand new car, 2021 Chevy Spark. So I'm wondering 
Now I couldn't get a canoe before because you can't outfit a smart car with any kind of rack, like roof rack or whatever. But maybe this new car I can. I love my inflatable kayak. It's just as wonderful an experience, but there's something about a canoe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so great. This spot could be another good place to camp. All right, we are back. So that was a 45 minute canoe ride at a very leisurely pace. And that was just around the perimeter of the island. So that gives you <clears throat> somewhat of an idea of how small or how the size of the island. Um, so yeah, so let's have breakfast. I'm starving and then we'll do a little hike of the island. And this morning's breakfast will be tuna pasta. Yum. I'm surprised about this, but glad. So there we have it, folks. So I just, you know, dump most of the hot water, but not all. Add the uh, cheese mix, add the whole can of tuna, including the water that it comes in, and mix it up. That's it. You don't need butter or any more cheese or salt or whatever. It's delicious. All right, it is 10.40. <clears throat> I'm super full, even though I only cooked up about two-thirds of the pasta that it comes with. Yeah, really full. Um, so yeah, let's take a little hike around the island. And look what I found, a toilet, <laughs> even with the uh, toilet paper dispenser. And there's no bucket inside there. It just goes right into the ground. I don't know how that works. Does it keep sinking? I, I don't know how that works. Anywho, wish I'd known about that sooner. I found a, another um, established camp spot, fire ring, table, another table. Yeah, lots of trees for my hammock tent. I am definitely going to try this, this site 
either tonight or next time. And another toilet as well. So there's the extent of my garbage collecting, which is good. quarter after 12 so I've done a 45 minute canoe ride a an hour little hike around the island which was only 1.74 kilometers like that was sort of zigzagging my way to the other end of the island and back so I would say this island is 400 meters long by 100 meters wide um, <clears throat> yeah ants in my pants syndrome so I'm gonna go uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's my second successful Crownland camp. Yeah, I can't, uh, I love it. And even this, even this, like, you know, I said, I'm, I'm so close to like, um, property owners. It's still like, like way better than, um, a campground where they're like literally right next door. So yeah, this was amazing. And I have some more spots to still check out and camp on. So stay tuned for more Crownland camping. In the meantime, you know the spiel. Um, and yeah, sorry for my low energy. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in 12 years and seven months. Thanks, see you in the next video.